So you thought the trading hall mega build was big, but this episode, I have to go all out and prove you wrong. I may have gone a little bit too far and made it a tad bit too big, but I don't know. This looks like the size of a decently small starter home. Very excited for you all to see this and the finished build. <sighs> Let's get to it. Okay, so it's been a little bit and uh, exciting news for uh, everyone that only watches this channel. So, uh, first off, let's just immediately get into building, you know. Um, now thinking about it. Okay, where are you? Yes, all of you. Okay, so we're just gonna take stone. We're just gonna go and make all of the, uh, like, the, the blueprint in a way of the build. I guess like, you know, just the border and stuff. So, so much to talk about. I have a lot to yap about, so I think you guys are ready for this podcast. Now, first off, thank you guys. So, like, every episode that goes live, it's actually insane because it just does so much more, like, phenomenally better than the previous episode. It's very weird. Haven't had anything like this, I think, ever in my YouTube career or maybe in the last, like, two years. So... It's it's very like it's like a strange feeling, but in the best way possible. Like it's it's so weird. So just thank you guys so much for being so supportive and amazing and enjoying this series. Two, uh, I'm now on Berserk Deluxe Edition, uh, like Volume Ten out of fourteen. Oh my god, love it! So many ideas. Like you guys have no idea just how many building ideas that I have now for uh, all of this stuff. So very, very much so looking forward to it. So for anyone that only watches this series, super exciting stuff. Now, I actually, so, you know, I, I ended the hardcore series and I actually yesterday just recorded the first episode of the new series on it. And let me just say, oh my God, is it amazing? Um, God, I, okay, so this is gonna be really difficult for me. I'm, I'm gonna try and think of what I'm trying to talk about while planning out this entire build, and it might not go well, so this is gonna be really interesting, okay? Um, you know, no, 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 okay, so I think the easiest way is we follow this, and I didn't make any stairs because I'm a little silly goose, so right there. Really? Like nothing, like, just so many distractions. I can't have like one second to think and like talk. Okay, but at least we're good. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, I think it was something about being a silly goose. Why was I a silly goose? I think I was talking about recording the first episode of the new series. Yeah, I, I think it was that. And funny enough with that first episode, why does this look lopsided? I completely focused on just getting God armor and tools because I wanted to get that out of the way. And yeah, episode one, I have like full enchanted diamond armor and tools, like everything. Everything is completely enchanted and done, made an iron farm. Uh, you know, we have like villager breeder going like it did so much in the span of like three days. It was the craziest time ever. But very, very much so looking forward to that. Uh, very excited for you guys to see that. It, the first episode might not be out for a few weeks, so yeah, uh, don't expect it too soon. <laughs> and that's why I'm now going to be, like, just recording this series. So if it looks like I'm ignoring your comments, I am. And I'm also just recording all of this, like, heavily in the future. Because I'm just going to be, like, working on this channel now instead of recording for the main. Because I'm waiting for that video to be edited because it's going to be, like, very different to how they normally go. Uh, okay, so I need to talk while building though or else uh, you guys are just listening to a podcast with me running around and jumping and wasting food so uh let's focus on this first so this is the staircase which i don't think we need to go too crazy but like this is only four maybe because that's five six seven yeah i think seven so i think going up this tall because i'm trying to think of like the the foundation ground because since I do want it to be a fantasy build, this is when I'm now, like, you know, bringing in my own ideas instead of, you know, kind of following, uh, like, like typical fantasy stuff that I've seen and uh, Berserk. So, I kind of want, a, like, a thick foundation like this for the building to sit on so that then I think for either the entire build or at least some of the trading areas, I think I want to put glass on the floor and then we're gonna replicate the building up top down below, which, you know, we should have plenty of space to do that. And then it'll look like it's being mirrored in a way. It's either gonna look like it's being mirrored or that there's a reflection on the floor, so it's super shiny. And it might be cool. Like, it might be a really cool one. Um, another thing that you guys told me about, which thank you so much for this, is that in medieval buildings like this, in the inside, the floor 
can be wood in some of the areas. I think like all staircases, there's stone, but inside of the building, the flooring can be wood. And it's usually like a hardwood because stone is very cold and everything is stone. So on the inside of the building, you want it to be nice and warm. So you put wood in there so it's nice and warm. And oh my god, I wish it would stop raining. I am so sick and tired of the rain. Now, there's that. Uh, I didn't bring any dirt. So that's another little silly goose move of me. Because I'm trying to think. We want the staircase to go forward. Ah, oh, no, okay. I think we need to actually go back home and get some dirt. Because I need to plan out the dirt ground with the, the, the stone stuff. But I'm heavily excited for you guys to see the new series on the main channel. Very much so looking uh, forward to that. And then, yeah, it's basically going to be the same thing as this to where... What? It's just that one single series. So, very, very looking forward to that. I think you guys will enjoy that one as well. So then, you know, you'll always expect these two series every single week. Gee, I hope I have enough dirt for this. But at least now, with me only recording this world for this channel, dude, we're gonna make so much progress in here. And then I'm not gonna forget anything. Ooh, I might actually be able to finish this building before I need to go and record for the main channel. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be fun to see this. Oh, and then I never shout it out, but uh, if you guys want to go follow me on Twitter, you know, link in the description, but I did post like a, uh, before I even begin, like before you guys even saw me begin this build, I already posted up until like this point uh, of what it looked like. So if you guys want, I can post like sneak peeks or like what I'm currently building or currently at in this series on, uh, on Twitter. And same with the uh, the main channel series, the, the future series. Okay, so I now get the pleasure of... Dude, I really don't want to do circles. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much I hate circles. <sighs> it's like I'm thinking... It might look crazy nice to have... I still didn't bring any stairs. Um, but I I'm just thinking, like... It might be really, really nice to have some circle uh, go into this build for the foundation. But I mean, it's not really circular. It's more of the, the ceiling. It's more of that that I need to worry about. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. So oh, I, I think I mentioned this in one of the episodes. I don't really know because I, I record so many videos. So my mind's always all over the place. But, um, do I need that to go here? Oh yeah, I think I do. Yeah, okay, I think I made that correct. But, um, yeah, I need to finish this build like pretty fast because I need to get every single kind of villager uh, enchantment trade because uh, 1.21 coming out, I really want to update to it. And there's a lot of mods that I use, like this distance mod, it got updated. So it could be way cooler and I can actually use shaders. So this looks like crazy beautiful. And I need to do all of that stuff on the future series for the main channel as well. Because I really hate uh, 1.20, I think it's 1.20, to where villagers are now based by biome for you to get enchants, and I find that incredibly stupid and tedious, and I refuse to do that. Same with netherite. Uh, I need to get a lot of netherite stuff on here and the future series. So, you know, we, we, we got a little bit of a to-do list, but I don't know when 1.21 is coming out. I got a feeling I have a few months, so I'm not too worried. Okay, so as soon as you go up, I think... Because you don't want to go straight into the door. Because this is already looking very grand. Everything is a super long distance. Uh, as soon as I go up the stairs, maybe we go forward. God, I really wish I had stairs so I know that like I need my... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, never mind. Of course the stairs have to end here. I can tell that. I'm smart. Okay, so as soon as the stairs ends here... Maybe we just go forward six blocks. So I think right here to this door. Yeah, and then I think doorway. I think that's fine because like, you know, we need to actually begin the building. I need to stop making this a marathon to get in here or else poor Cloud over there is gonna get too tired trying to run in here. Okay, so then as soon as that starts, so that's the staircase ending there. So I think right here, is the wall. Okay, so we have the wall here, and then I think for all trading areas, I don't think we're gonna put it here. So we need like a nice big walkway because, you know, we don't want it to be super awkward and tiny. Cause I'm trying to envision it. As soon as we're inside of the building, we have this much, you know, movement space. And then I think I'm gonna have to shoot myself and actually do some kind of circle for the very center of the build. Hmm. Okay, so then this is, door which i wish i had something to mark out that that's the door i think we're just gonna have it open 
Exhaustion Sense, like, I need to uh, spawn proof everything. And then let's be real, there's going to be iron golems everywhere. Either I make the iron golems or the villagers make the iron golems, but there's going to be iron golems everywhere. So let's be real. So we want it to be huge. And at first I'm thinking each hallway, because there's one hallway and then there's going to be a circle right here. And there's going to be second hallway, third hallway, fourth hallway. So it's a, it's a very big just X or T or a plus sign, you know, it's one of those. So I, I don't... Th Maybe 40 is enough? But that might be too tiny. Because if we go 40, and then I'm pretty sure we either need a 40 or a 60 big circle, so then that's 100. Let's go 60 circle for the center. So 40, 60, so that's 100. And then we have the other hallway back there. That's another 40 distance. So theoretically, yeah, we should have like 100 and... No, well, no, I guess like 80. So we got 80 there, boom, boom. Okay, I think... I think that's good enough. I think that's big enough because that's just for the building. And then we have to go through and do this. You know, we need this big of an area around everywhere. So then I, I guess you can classify this as a mega build at that point. If it's... God, I wonder how long this is. I want to say maybe 80 blocks. I'm not counting that. I was about to. I'm not doing that. Um. Okay, but I think that's... Good. Wait, no, I don't need to make it 60 circle for the center because this. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. We need to make it bigger. Okay, so as soon as you come in through the front door. So how big is this right now? Because this is technically just the walking way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got eight there. So then after eight, maybe six on each side. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so then... Yeah, 6, 12, so this should be 20. So maybe the circle is only 40? So it's a little bit bigger than these? I'm so scared that this is going to be too tiny. But I guess the, this is why, you know, you just plan out the border of everything like this. I hate the beginning process. I like it when it's already done. I'm just trying to envision it. This, no, this is way too tiny. Yeah, this is already way too tiny. Okay, so as soon as you come up, or, no, mm -mm. nah. That's still way too tiny. Again, mega build, big. If I make it wider, I could put pillars in there. Okay. Let's try something crazy. Let me let me go a little wacko crazy mode. Wait, wait, really quick. If you're enjoying the video so far, I'm really close to 1 million subscribers and it'd mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe and help me reach it. It helps me out tremendously with making these videos possible and leave a like if you'd like to see more. Thank you. Now, back to the video. Okay, there we go. Maybe this is big enough. Because, I gotta be honest, I have no idea. Like, I, I don't have any design plan. I don't have nothing for the entrance for this. So, I'm completely guessing right now. But I think having 30 and 30 on both of these sides. And then, I think, wait, was this 8? 1, 2, 7, 8. Okay, so we have 68 wide. And then that goes forward. But we don't want it to, like, you know, be really, like, stubby. So, I mean, if it's 68 wide, maybe going 50 forward? Maybe I, I, don't, I don't think I'm still thinking big enough. I just realized that this building is most likely going to be crossing, like this entire mega build is going to be most likely crossing several biomes. That's a little crazy to think about. Um, yeah, I guess seeing how like wide that is, like that's far. So, maybe 70? Maybe, maybe 70 wide? Yeah, I think 70 and then we get to the center. Again, like I just, I want everything in this world to be big. I want, I want it to be absurd. I want it to be magnificent. So I think 70 wide. So if I put down this entire stack, boom, that'll be 65. And then we just need to go five more. Boom. Okay, so this should be 70. I think this is good. See, I think now at this point, I think from all the way down there, the very tip of the lower courtyard, all the way to that tip down there, I think this is bigger than the autoinator. I wish I could remember how big the autoinator was, but I'm pretty damn positive that this is now bigger. Okay, but I think I like that. I, I, I think I think 70 is a good idea. And if anything, if it becomes too big, which let's be real, that's probably not gonna be an issue whatsoever for any of these buildings, but I could just make the other branches going forward uh, a lot like tinier. I'm also worried about this looking like a square and not a rectangle because it's supposed to look like a rectangle. Wait, because that's only 68 by 70. That is a square. 
Um, technically, that is a rectangle because he's not equal on all sides. Okay. Yeah, here, let's just see what 70 looks like. Oh, but, because, uh, wait, here, maybe if it's so big, then what we can do is, this is just the entrance, and then maybe the other sides are thinner, but longer. Maybe that'll be good. I really wish I could fly. It, being able to fly helps me out with uh, building so much. Oh, speaking of flying. So you guys seem to be down for the backpack mod idea and I'm down for it as well. But I think a good idea, I think like a very fair, um, I got 70. I think a very fair trade-off would be is I think I download the backpack mod and then I can't get any backpacks. Like even if a mob drops a backpack, I just, I throw it away. I can't use it. The only backpacks that I use are if I go to the end and I make a shulker. So as soon as I actually get like a shulker box, I can then just like toss the shulker box away and then I can just spawn in a backpack. I think that would be a pretty fair trade-off. Like maybe I, because shulkers are still pretty cheap and I don't want to have too many backpacks. So maybe I make a shulker box and I have to craft 10 diamond blocks. I don't know, something like that. Like 10 diamond blocks or five diamond blocks. And then I throw away the diamond blocks as well. Like I just, I toss all that and then I just spawn in a backpack for me. And then maybe that's how we go about it because a backpack is basically the exact same thing as a shulker box, but you know, I can actually just like open it up while I'm wearing it. And it's more uh, medieval and fantasy-like compared to actually having a shulker box because you know, like a shulker box can be pretty fantasy. It's a magical box that you can spawn out of thin air that, you know, holds items for you. So like, you know, it can work, but. You, you, I, I think you get what I'm saying. Okay, so if we have this stubby box for the spawn area, I kind of, hmm, maybe we should make this thinner. Cause maybe this is too wide. So maybe we make this like maybe half the width and then we have a big circle center. And then, yeah, maybe we, maybe, we, maybe, maybe we do it like that. I think I like that. Yeah, cause I think having a very grand center that's very big and circular. And then all of the hallways, cause I'm just, I'm worried about the hallways being too skinny. So maybe instead of 30, maybe they're 20. Cause I was thinking 15, but I don't think having this in half would look good. I think it'd look too tiny and like, like too much, uh, too stubby. So one, two, three. Okay, let's see, can I even see? Okay, I think that's, I think that's a bit better. Just having it 20 instead of 30. So I think I like that more, so. I now get to go and replace all of the blocks that I just did and then remove a whole lot of them, but whatever, it's not that hard. So uh, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go do that off camera. So let me go do that really fast. Okay, so it's a bit skinnier. I'm just, I think I'm just very scared about it looking like very tiny and not big. I, I think that's my biggest worry, but I think having it like this to where it's, you know, an actual rectangle this time, I think this will do better. So I think I like this idea. Uh, the issue, okay, wait, so this is 2040, so, 48. God, I, maybe we make the circle 60? Or maybe 72. Because the hardest part, God, I really wish that I did this down there, but I think like no matter where I would have done this, it just wouldn't have been easy. I mean, I could just make a line across so we can actually, you know, stand there because I'm trying to think of how to do the circle because that's not going to be easy. Actually, yeah, no, I, I think actually building across here will actually make it a lot easier. So to do uh, to do that circle, if I can talk. Mm. What was it, man? Okay, so from here, uh, God, we actually do need to mark down the center. I think it's a good thing that the center is actually two blocks instead of one. That might, no, 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 that should be a good thing because then I can just, you know, design something over here and then boom, just copy it over there. I don't have to come up with like a different design for the center. Okay, so uh, yeah, we need to find out the center of this one. I think if I just count 24, should be good. So, 24. 24. Okay, sick. Yes, this is completely centered. Okay, so now if I go to my trusty website, which this is going to be painful. Um, okay, so if it's a 48 wide one, I think 72 should be good because I wanted to go a little bit off the edges over here. And then, so from 48 to 72, isn't that like just 24 more blocks? Yeah, no, that's just 24. So that'd be a 12 more blocks on each side. 
So I might be good enough. Because it's either going to be 72 or it's going to be 84. So then it's 12 on each side. Ooh, I think I like the idea of 12. Maybe maybe 84. Let me see this. How, how does that look? Oh, Jesus Christ, that looks painful. Oh, that does not look like a good time. So each set is 12. That would be six here. Okay, so I'm trying to think of how to do this because I don't know if I should bring the circle inwards or if I should bring it outwards. Uh, I think starting it here and then we just move the walls forward. No, 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 no. We don't move the walls forward because then I can make the walls curved so it looks even cooler inside. Ooh, yeah. So maybe we start here. So I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. 12. Okay, perfect. I... God, I'm I'm a little tempted to build it with dirt. I probably should do that just so it's even simpler, but I th think we'll just leave it as stone. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll leave it as stone or else then it's going to become more work. Okay, so I'm going to attempt my best to not do this off camera. I'm going to try and talk my way through it because the website that I use, very luckily, you know, you can zoom into it, super awesome. But my most favorite thing about it is that you can click on the squares on the website and it'll make it a different color. So you can actually tell exactly where you are. So... For me to do this, I think I'm a, like a, a professional enough yapper to where I can do this while looking at the website. So this part is just six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then from six, we go to four. And then from four, we go to four. And then I go to the website and I click on all the boxes because I don't want to mess any of this up. Like, I think I would genuinely cry if I were to finish the circle and then I come back in here and it's, like, half off. Like, I, at that point, you, you guys would probably be getting some very rare footage of me going... <coughs> okay, so then, after the four, we go to authority. Let me do three. Three, three, two, three. Three, two, three, two three okay so then god i hate building circles so much like i i hate building them however i should probably get into it a lot more because it, it just makes builds look so much cooler when you add curves to them because no one really does it because then let me go one two three four five and then i need one more two and then from this side then we go to this way so now it's a three and then, okay, so from this way, because I'm kind of building it backwards from looking at the website, because, like, I can't build this way. So that makes it really fun and cool. Okay, so then from this two, then we need to do a three, two, three, three. Okay, so three, two, three, three. Okay, then after the three, then we do four, four, six. So one, two, three, four, four six okay three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so we've at least made 25 percent of the circle so now we can actually go back over here and then i can see if this is the right move if not then i'm just gonna be a little little sad but i oh dude just imagining it like a circular place like this Ooh, i think i like that yeah i think i like that it's gonna be a little tricky to decide this stuff because i I think I might just bring the uh, the walls like this just forward. That might be okay. And then we kind of have like, you know, it, it just goes curvy like that. I think that's a good choice. I, I think I like that. But I think I like the size of the circle. I, th I don't think it really dwarfs this because the other sides, I think I'm going to make them longer than this. This is just like the entrance area where I don't know what I'm going to be putting in this entrance area. But the centerpiece, I don't think I'm going to have any trades in here. Maybe... I think I'm going to decorate it with like um, villagers trapped in areas with honey blocks so that they can't escape. But I think I'm going to make this place look very busy because I think my goal with this is to make like a bustling city. You know, like I, I want, even though it's not going to be a city, it's just this one build. And then in the future, I see myself making everything like look like a city. I'll put little buildings and pathways everywhere. But we're doing all the big, uh, the big structures and then we'll fine tune everything in the future. But I think I want to make it look very lively in here and just like very good. Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe multiple floors as well. Ooh, cause I don't know how tall I want to make this. 
But yeah, so just in case if anyone couldn't get what I was saying in the beginning. So from here, this little hallway, once yeah, like we're at the top of it, the ceiling is going to be curved. It's going to be like a cylinder up top. If that makes any sense. The center part, boom, it's a giant dome up top, which I don't know how to build dome. So that's going to be really fun, really cool. Um, but yeah, it's that kind of a build. If anyone has read Berserk, I think you'll understand exactly what I'm trying to build. At least if you've read the, uh, like the priest arc. Or they were at the tower of something. I forgot the name of it. Okay, so now let's go for the right side. Let's build half of the circle just to like gauge how huge this building's gonna be. Is this wait, wait is this circle uh, centerpiece? Is this bigger than that down there? I think the building is actually becoming bigger than the lower courtyard. Oh, I think we're. I think it's off by one block. No, two blocks. I think it's like two. I think it's right there with that very first stone. A brick right there and then yeah just two over yeah wow this is almost bigger than the lower courtyard so that's a little funny um but not to worry because i have to extend uh the upper courtyard area quite a bit to fit all of this so that's gonna be fun to figure out as well oh so much planning this episode oh god my life's so difficult okay so one two three four five six and eleven twelve okay and I think that's lined up perfectly. I think I did everything correct. Yeah, I think I, I think I like this. I think it's gonna look really cool. Plus, yeah, at least by making it such a massive circle, especially with the 12 block right here, maybe then all of the other uh, hallways, cause I don't, mm, I might make it as wide as this. I don't know if I wanna make it as wide as that. God, man, cause like that's the issue. Cause I'm almost thinking of making every single hallway just up until here, like the, uh, the last four. A uh, little, like, four-block-wide one like that. Because maybe that'll be big enough for all hallways. But then I th think, you know, I'm just thinking too tiny. Maybe I need to make all of them, you know, the width of this. But is it going to look, like, super empty and stupid then? Because the villager only needs, like, a three-by-three three area for them. I think I'll make stalls for them. Or we'll, we'll make all of their little holding areas a lot uh nicer i don't know that that's for future me and by future me i mean in about 10 minutes once i finish the circle <laughs> okay but not too shabby okay so from this side boom you look at this side okay so one two three four five six one two three four one two three four and if i'm lucky please for the love of god this is the last three that we need yes <laughs> Oh, thank God I didn't ruin the circle. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh my goodness, man. That that would have sucked if I accidentally messed this up. That that would have been really bad. Oh, wow. Look, they came back. Gee, I was so lonely. Thank you guys for checking on me. Okay, so... Wow. That is a big boy area. Now, we need to think... Like maybe... Maybe I do every single side just like this. I forgot how long I made this. I think I made it 70. If I have to recount this, I'm gonna cry. So let's see. So after you do the six, four, four, three, three, two, three. Oh, okay. That's easy to remember then. Okay. Yeah. So just six, six, four, four, three, three, two, three. That one, boom. That's where that begins. Okay. So then we come over here. So we do six, four, four, three, three, two, three. Boom, this is where it begins. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around, mark out all of these, just so we can see where all of them are gonna be. So six, four, four, three, three, two, three. Okay, so that's marked. Six, four, four, three, three, two, three. But yep, them lines up there. Six, four, four, three, three, two, three. And then, you know, actually here, let's just mark out this. So we'll just connect you. Boom, perfect. It is three, two, three, three, four, four, so yeah, okay. So I think that was all correct. I think everything is lined up. I don't think I misplaced anything because I don't make mistakes. So then you come down here. Okay. This is really weird, but everything is going very smoothly and it's making me a little sussy. It's a little suspicious. Um, okay. So I think, okay, so I think it's 70 past this point right here of which I marked because it lines up perfectly with that block and I think it was 70 past that block. So like technically this is zero and then boom, this would be one, me placing down a block. 
So I think just to be safe, uh, we should... God, I should probably count this. Oh God, I hate counting. Oh God, I hate reading and everything. Oh, I'm 70. Okay, cool. I did remember that right. I wonder if I should duplicate the door that I do there with all sides so that then, you know, regardless of where I enter this place, I can get into the building. And maybe we do multiple ways to get up here. Like, we're, I think I'm only just gonna have those staircases down there. I'm a little tempted to have a staircase leading all the way down to the ground, like for all four points, but that might also be a security issue because I need to make sure that one, this entire surrounding area, island, desert, like all of this is gonna have to become spawn proof. Like I need nothing to spawn in here. But even when it's spawn proof, those lovely little patrols, they, I, I think it only spawns around me, obviously. I don't think that they're just gonna randomly spawn around here if I'm not here, but I'm still worried about them spawning around here while I'm here. And I don't want any of my villagers to die. And I'm thinking of making all of their like rooms and spots in here kind of open. So I think I can put iron golems on a leash at every single door. I think I can do that. And we might have like two or three. Like I, I might like have quite a bit of a uh, security around every single place. Because I just, if I ever come back here, let's say we're on 1.21 and my villagers are dead. And especially the and uh, librarian ones like i'm i i will actually be like pretty disheartened like that that will kind of crush me that one will hurt a little bit um okay so at the very least i don't need to count for this stuff because this will be super duper easy okay we just go forward this entire stack and then i just need to add six at the end it's actually starting to dawn on me how many weeks it's going to take me to finish this well at least we're gonna have a lot to do this series you know I definitely am never gonna be like wow there's nothing to build okay that should be 70. i think the funnier part is how the building is becoming so massive that like the other parts of the building are starting to become unrendered and we're only seeing it with the distance mod like, if I didn't have this distance mod, we couldn't see those stairs down there or really any of the upper courtyard. Like, that would all be hidden. And then if I run over here, we wouldn't even be seeing any of the courtyard. We would only be seeing, like, the stairs and then that little uh, bit of dirt. So, that, that's a little funny to me. Okay, so then from here, and then we just need seven after... Uh, actually, no. I don't want to do this while it's nighttime. I don't want things to spawn up here. So never mind, let's go beat it to chickens and let's go to bed. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna go and like extend every single pathway out uh, off camera just because like you guys already know what's about to happen. I don't wanna bore you. Okay, so you can't really tell, but um, yeah, I finished, you know, uh, extending all of just the hallways. Uh, in case you're wondering just how massive this is, which I was correct, um, this build is now spanning into three different biomes. Uh, this is gonna be really interesting. So, uh, hold your horses. Um, yeah, uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, so if Darman zooms in, um, there's the left side, you know, there's the lower and the upper courtyard, which honestly, the lower courtyard is kind of a joke. It's barely even a courtyard. The upper courtyard is basically the courtyard. And then, um, yeah, there's the, uh, the four quadrants of where all of the halls are gonna be, which, you know, up this high probably doesn't look that significant, but then, you know, when you take a closer look and, oh, yeah, those are trees, and then, you know, if you look more to, like, the far right, oh, wait, there's a village over there, that's kinda cool, but, you know, oh, there's a mountain, yeah, this is, uh, I, I think it's safe to say this is my biggest build ever. And, um, yeah, I only have 30 more stone bricks. Every other stone, I mean, well, we have some on cloud over there, which, oh, yeah, uh, really quickly. Uh, it seems like you guys are into that, uh, the, the name for our meal down there. So I'm definitely going to name him cloud. I think it just, it's really fitting. I think once I get the fastest possible meal, I'll name that one, uh, limit. I think that'll be really cool. Um, but yeah, so definitely the biggest build that I've ever done. And this... This is going to be a tricky process because, believe it or not, I actually don't know at all how I want to do this. So, this is going to be very tricky. Uh, also, I feel like I should remove this because I don't know how I want the blocks to be. So, just so I don't confuse future me. Yeah, let's just go through and remove all of this stuff. Okay, much nicer. A lot easier to understand. And, yeah, honestly, I think just a, uh, a huge... Whoops. Like, a huge part of this building, it's just gonna be guessing. Wow. Well, I've never seen it from down here. Wow, that looks sick. 
And even then, call me crazy, this still doesn't seem that big. I think it's just because of the circle that this build is looking big. Like, this really ain't that bad. It's definitely going to take me a few months to build this, but maybe not even then. The, the biggest part is just getting all the material, which soon, you know, may, maybe, I don't know. Soon, you know, I'll, uh, I'll have Darman join the world. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's definitely going to be the, the trickiest part, obviously. Oh, dude, this is going to look so cool, though. Now, the more difficult part is down here because I do need the courtyard to be kind of circular around here. I just don't know how to do that yet because for me to build a circle that, you know, obviously goes around that circle, I need to start it from the dead center of there and then just that much planning. I got to be real. Like, like I don't want to do it. That, that just sounds boring to me. So I might have to come up with like a really unique way to uh, like have a circle uh, go around that entire place because we need the upper courtyard to go around the entire building. Like whether that's just the walls, like that's not even the upper courtyard, any of the other staircases, like anything else really. So yeah, we're, we're not even seeing the full scale of this build so far, but I do need all of that. So absolutely, we're gonna be needing a mount to get across our entire world because, oh my God, this is gonna be insane. So I do have some dirt, but I feel like we should probably do the walls first. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we should do the walls first and then, once we have the outer walls, then we'll just come in a little bit with dirt. And then I think we'll try, I don't, hmm, we might get rid of that. I don't know what I'm thinking there. Well, I guess we do need somewhat of a walkway around the entire building, just so it's not just straight wall to a drop off. I don't know, well, ah, trying, trying to think of how to do all of this, ah. There's so much, there, there's so much to plan and think about. I think we should have a walkway around here. It'll look a lot nicer instead of just straight drop off into a dirt. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Okay, so I think here, we're gonna go forward a little bit and then that's when we kind of curve it a little bit around that corner. So we're just gonna focus on the absolute like outside edges and then we'll just come back in and you know, add in uh, that and then yeah, we'll, we'll see from there. Okay, so I can't tell how many blocks I am from that. Oh, wait, wait here. Okay, so the easiest way to do this will be matching it up perfectly. I think this block is in line with that one. So from here we go back like it's like one, two, three. And then I think from here we go like this, maybe? So I think like this. And then we go out to here. And then we go down. I, th I think that's, I think that's good. Okay, so then after doing that cute little uh, cut coming out. So then we come all the way down here. And... Okay, cause let's see, cause that's a three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Or technically one, two, three, four, five. So then we need to match it up with that one. Yeah, cause I think that's like the, uh, the actual like center of that part of the circle. So I think if we match it up with there, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> so then one, two, three, four. Because, okay, counting with my finger now. So one, two, three, and then we got one, two, three. Yes, okay, so that's, that that block right there, that's the one that I need to get to. So I think here, I think this is matched up perfectly. I think it was that one that I needed. Yeah, like it's three, three on the left, three on the right. This is in the dead center of it. Okay, I think from here, but then like, look at how far I am from here to here so something ain't right something something's not working too well right now and this this is when things get very tricky and i think i need to start building with dirt so i think what we oh ooh, ooh. okay wait here so oh my god uh at least i fell for quite some time so i can like have a reaction and then just swap to my water bucket so that, that was nice okay don't want to do it there you're not screw it Let, let's just run it i don't want to remove any torches by accident JK Lowe's, I'm not running all that distance. Okay, so what I was trying to do is come here. So, here's how you can tell the distance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
So 23, and then we can drop down. So going based off of that, wait, how much did I say? 23, yeah, 23, because we're at 41. I think I was at 64 when I started this. Okay, so it should be 23. So we can now go to the line over here. Okay, I think it's this one. So now I just go forward until I have 41 dirt blocks left. And there, okay, so then we drop down here to this block. So then, boom. This distance to that one should be the same distance from this one to that one. And that's like the easiest way to do it. So then this block right here should be perfect towards that one, I think. I, th I think I wanted that one. Yeah, because there's three on the left, three on the right. Like uh, I'm talking about the little pointy parts like that I'm looking at right now. So from there, yeah, perfect to there. So then I just copy this all the way down and there. I think... This is perfectly matched up to that, I think. I'm like pretty certain of that. I mean, the easiest way would be like what? I look at the Z. Okay, so we look at like the Z axis, which is 301.5. Okay, let me get in the center of this and we are at 301.5, sick. Okay, so that seems all perfect. All, all that looks really good to me. But then uh, we need to not have this so sharp. Obviously, I'm not keeping it like this whatsoever. Uh, I need to sleep. I think I can, like, maybe mirror it from there, because that's not that circular. Like, that's, that's kind of like a straight line from what we're seeing there. I can kind of do the same here. And there's, like, a pretty simple way to do this that might be, like, really silly to everyone. But if I just do it like this, I can at least make it perfect. <laughs> and then we can kind of do it like this. There you go, see? So it kind of uh, copies that because it's like one, two, and then just goes one all the way across. So we got one, two, one all the way across. So it's kind of mimicking that. Um, I don't know how many blocks out this is. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Because after the two, then we go one, two, three, four, five. So five... Five little pointy bits in, uh, in between the twos. So in between the twos, so one, two, three, four, five. In between the two. Oh my God, I weirdly made that perfect. Okay. So then we go back with this. We break these and then we just do like this. Perfect. And then wowie, would you look at this super easy and unbearably laggy. Oh my God. Come on. Come on game. I'm building a new computer soon. God, I'm so excited for it. Hello? Now, I think the smartest thing is uh, I'm going to leave the dirt rows right there just so I can come back and just count them whenever I'm confused. And I think I think we should just remove it like this. Yeah, yeah. I think leaving like this much is probably the best. And then we just remove this line. So now we just have these. So that should be good. I'm trying so hard to like not lose track of anything. Landed that perfectly. But um, yeah, like I'm trying so hard to like not lose track of anything. Like I actually, I think I actually have to finish uh, like this kind of planning for everything. Like if I don't finish the outline this episode, it's gonna be such a lost cause. Also, can you guys stop laying so many eggs? Like I, I just don't wanna kill them because I don't wanna have their meat. Pause. Uh, I don't wanna have more food. So I'm just trying to leave them alive. Plus, you know, it's just, it's more things moving around here. So it just feels more alive. Okay. What? I think I like that. Like this, like I'm, I'm trying to imagine everything and I'm really hoping that you guys can imagine it too. But I think this shape is good. The hardest part now is coming up with a new uh, exit area or like just like a new area for all of these. I think if I actually do this line for all three other uh, sections, like if I just finish all the other ones, I think what I can do is find the block difference from that point to the point over there, like once I make the line, and then we just make a circle. So we'll make a half circle over there, which should be actually really easy to do. And then I have a staircase leading down and then boom, upper courtyard. I think that's gonna be our best bet. I think I think I like that the most. So very strangely, this is all going very smoothly. I, I'm, I'm not used to my mega builds going like this, so I hope you guys are proud of me. <laughs> This is why I wanted to restart the hardcore series because just look at the skill difference from, you know, me making this build compared to the autoinator. Like the difference in actually planning and, you know, making this, you know, actually big. 
everything is pretty simple so far. I'm not overly complicating things just to make it look, you know, complicated and more intense. Okay, so hard part now is mimicking over there. I think I know exactly like where to do it though. I, I think I can copy this on the first try. I think this is lined up. Actually here, uh, which one? Okay, so negative 234. Negative 235. Okay, yes, yeah, so I went forward a little bit too much. Okay. So then after th there, so I just go one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so it should be this block right here. I should be lined up with that. And let me go one, two, three, four. So looking in there, so we have one, two, three, and it goes into the line. One, two, three goes into the line. Okay, so this is at 235, and then this one over here is at 231. Okay, so 235 and 231. I'm going to hurt somebody. Oh my god, I'm I'm actually so close to just doing a cheat and then just making it so I don't get rain for the next 10,000 days. Oh my god, it, like I don't think I'm overreacting. I'm only getting rain in this world, and I don't know why. Like, the rain actually has it out for me. Like, normally I love rain in video games because it's beautiful. It's strictly just Minecraft that I hate rain. Unless I have shaders on, then it can be beautiful. But like, oh dear God, can I please just have like 10 days without rain? Okay, anyhow, so yeah, I think, okay, because I remember the dirt being 23. Honestly, what we should do is just go to every single line and let's actually just use dirt and let's just go out 23 blocks every single side so that then I should be able to map out everything perfectly. Okay, so that should be perfect to there as soon as you drop down to that one. Boom. I think this block, I think this block is perfectly lined up with that one down there, I think. Yeah, give or take, whatever. Uh, and then, oh my god, I moved. Okay, no, I think it was this one. Okay, so let me just go out to 41. Mm, very nice. And then we go back over here. Okay, so went around, measured everything. Uh, the next difficult part is getting to the correct Y level for down there. Actually, it's not even difficult. I'm just trying to make it sound like everything's difficult. Okay, so let's go check the Y level over there. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to do it over there. I, I think I know how, but yeah, this, this is going to be a little tedious. I'm just so happy that I built it high enough to where I don't think I need to like terraform anything or like chop down anything. One thing though is I think I'm going to be crazy enough and go over the desert area. And I think I'm actually just going to put dirt on top of it, like put some grass there. So it's not like a desert. It might look like that though, but I don't know. I feel like that might be better than having the, uh, the little desert look and stuff. Oh, hey, look, my boyfriends are back. Oh, I miss you guys so much. Okay, but at least this is lined up perfectly. So, you know, that's some good confirmation that I didn't mess up there. Okay, I believe that's correct. Yeah, because that'd be too far. So now let's just go this way a little bit. Actually, no, we'll, we'll just make this entire line. Okay, I'm not going to go and like check this, but I think this is the correct one. I'll, I'll do checks at the end once everything's done. So I'm not just like stopping. Like I, I just want to get all of this placed and then, yeah, we'll just do that stuff. But I think this is lined up perfectly there. Now, the difficult-ish part is going to be uh, replicating that curve, but it's not really that difficult. So I think it was one, and then you gotta go two, and then I think I had five spiky points. So you can probably guess it from like here. So if we go out one, then I do it like that. And then actually, you know what, here, let's just go all the way across and then I'll fix it. Because we have the one and you go two and then one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Wait, did I really get it that well? I wish I had an elytra. <laughs> I really wish I could fly around and like check things so much faster. But I think that was done correctly. Okay, so we got the one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Okay, I think I can remember that. I think I can remember that. I think this is easy. This is simple. This is so easy. I think I can remember all of this. Yes. Yes. I think I got it. Okay. Because, okay. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. I th think that's right. I, I don't think I messed it up whatsoever. As if I ever mess up anything. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I think, I think that's done. So not bad. We got roughly half. Actually, I'd say like 30% of the upper courtyard mapped. I think that I think that's looking good. Uh, the next difficult part is getting down. You know what? Screw the grass. I don't care. I don't want to wait. 
Um, please, I need my blocks. I need so many. I wonder if that 100 by 100 hole is actually going to give me enough material to finish this. Like that's actually starting to become a thought for me. I mean, if anything, if that 100 by 100 hole doesn't give me enough materials to finish like this one mega build, what I could do at all my mega builds is just dig below them and then just, you know, remove the entire ground. And then that's how I get uh, materials to build them. This is looking insane. <laughs> I feel like if anyone, like if you didn't watch this video at all, you just got to this part right here, none of this would make sense whatsoever. I, I feel like I just made one of the most confusing puzzles for someone to follow. Good luck copying this build, anybody. This is becoming so much to where I can't even replicate. Now comes the difficult part. Okay, so why level 90? At least that's such an easy number to remember. So the future area should be nice and simple. Okay, just need to remember. Okay, yeah, so it's one block over from this. Okay, that's actually so easy to copy. Oh God, do I have the stone bricks to finish it over here? Uh, you know what here, let's actually return home and then I just want to get, I, I want to fill up on uh, stone bricks before we start mapping out more of the other areas, which is so insane to me that, uh, it yeah, actually like an entire inventory of stone, like of just blocks in general, not enough to even finish just the outline of the building. Like that, that's actually a little insane. So I, I think I'm, uh, I think I'm you know, one-upping myself on big builds. I think I actually just spent the past 10 days in-game just mapping this out. I think making all of those lines has actually taken me 10 days. Oh, funny thing from the, the future series on the main channel. Yeah, I found out, let's say if I finish this cake right here, the rest of it breaks. I never knew that. Apparently cake can't float. So yeah, that that was news to me. That That one really shocked me. Where's my stone? There we go. Okay, very luckily, filled up on blocks. Now we should have enough material to finish the rest of the outline. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That's gonna be huge. That, wow. Like, we used to always have to look to the left to actually, you know, see the mega build. Now we can actually look to the right. Like, Wow, this is gonna be a big one. See, I was worrying for nothing in the earlier episodes. And I was talking about, oh no, it's not gonna be big enough. Yeah, no, this this is a monster. That this is this would be like a six foot tall guy at this point, you know? And all previous builds I made were like 5'11. Okay, so just need Need to remember 90. Oh, Dundee, I can't wait until the entire skeleton is done. La, da, da, do. I can't wait until this entire like building is 100% done. Like nothing else to add, completely finished. And then just to run through this place with cloud. I think, it, it, I, I just, I want to experience it because I feel like it's just going to be such an unreal experience just to see something this huge that isn't Darman's forehead. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully I don't destroy the desert down below. If I do, then oh well. But if we go down to here, and then we just go boo all the way down. Okay, so let's see. Where is... Oh, God. Okay, well, I went way too deep. Uh, the hard part is... Okay, is this 90 right... No, one more up. Wait, no, that's 92. Wait. 91. Okay, so we need to go... God, this is so difficult. With all these numbers on my face. Okay, so 91 there. That's actually 90 then. So if I put you there, you're 90. Okay, sick. That's all that I need. Now we can get rid of the water and get rid of all that numbers on my face. Oh wow, that actually didn't even go anywhere. Nice. Okay, so I think that's actually perfectly lined up right there. That's really weird. Nice. I can't believe I actually did that correctly. Let's see. Am I correct? Yep, because we're right there to here. Okay. Yep. I think we're good. Nice. That was insanely painless to actually map out this part. Okay. I think we're lined up here. I think we're all good. Let's go do the other side. I think the funniest thing about this building is that if you remember all of this, all of this work and effort and time just for villagers, <laughs> Not, like th this isn't even my house or like my item area. No, th this is just for villagers. Okay. So... Actually, no, I think that's too far. I think it's this block. Oh my god, I can't tell. Uh, crap, I can't. 
I think that, no, I think this is it. I think this is lined up. It's just so difficult because, like, why why is this not a straight line going up? Like, I know why, because of distance, but, like, it, ugh, God, it's just stupid. But, okay, I think that's, I think that's done. I think that's correct. And now we just need to do the fun thing of this, which uh, I'm going to take a wild assumption and say it's yeah, it's this from here. No, that's going to be too close, but whatever. Oh, so that's two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I think we need one more. So then if I go uh here, God, oh my God, can I stop putting it up here like that? Because, okay, so we got the one, two, one, two, three, four, one more. Okay, one two one two three four five two one why does that why does that seem too big i'm way too good at gaslighting myself i think that's too big i uh, i think i made it one block too much oh i need to go count okay one two one two three four five two one Okay, yeah, just one two one two three four five two one so one two five two one all I need to remember. Okay, I know. I, so I think that's right. I just keep gaslighting myself. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. Yeah. Oh, no. Sweet. This corner is completely done. Perfect. I am petrified to do the half circles. Uh, I feel like that's going to be really, really difficult. Ah, God. Being able to water bucket onto leaves. Oh, I'm going to miss that such a like a good feature i still don't understand why they made it so you can waterlog leaves i gotta be honest like the only thing that i can think of like literally the only good uh function with that is just farms because then you could just put a leaf block in, where the water source is and then you just won't fall down at all and it kind of looks cool other than that i don't understand uh waterlogging leaves at all uh am i able to get back up there <laughs> Please don't make me run all the way back. You're gonna have to censor this, Darman. I, I'm gonna lose my sh**. I, dude, I, I can't handle the rain anymore. I can't. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing the command. Okay, there. I, we probably won't be seeing rain for like 500 days at this point. I just, I, I can't. I, I can stand rain, you know, like once every 20 days in game. But if I'm having it every other f day, I, I'm good. If it just wasn't so annoying to where, you know, it blocks out your view of the sky and it's just kind of like obnoxious to have it. Like it's just, it's not a good mechanic. They desperately need to fix it. But, um, yeah, no, I just, I, 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 I had to cheat there and get rid of it. I'm sorry. Uh, wow. That water is really going. Okay. So three corners done. I think we got one remaining, which... Ooh, I think this is the only area where we actually have to do some kind of work, and that's just removing the trees, which that's not even an issue whatsoever. That's, that's not even tedious. Okay, so, go to you. Actually, ah, 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 the rain's fighting back. Oh god, the clouds, they're sabotaging me. Okay, wait, wait, here. So, if we go up to here, this is Y level 97. So, we just need to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this should be 90? 90, nice. The power of counting. Then we just need to match up the corners, which I think it's right here. If what's there, okay. Perfect, nice and painless uh, until I notice the ravine right below me. And I think that's when I'm gonna do some terraforming. Yeah, no, I'm definitely doing some terraforming magic. I, I'm just gonna cover that entire thing. I am not bringing stone bricks all the way down there. That's gonna be a little stupid. Stupid, don't, for the love of God, do not tell me that that's from an Enderman. I don't think that's from an Enderman though, because it looks like there's a cave down below. I haven't been noticing, actually, I haven't even been seeing any Enderman in this series or the future series. I, I haven't been seeing them whatsoever, and I don't know if it's just because like I'm oblivious to them, or if the Enderman mod just removed them, which like I'm kind of okay with, but you know, kind of makes, uh, getting to the end a little difficult without endermen or maybe they're only in the nether now which i'm okay with that then as long as i just don't pick up blocks especially here like if they're picking up the grass blocks from that oh dude oh i would be losing it a little bit at that point i think i would just cover everything in moss carpet okay let's see uh god um i think here i think that's lined up perfectly with it okay so i, th I think i think that side's good did i just see something okay i thought i saw stone Bricks down there. I, th I thought the, the stronghold was right here. Which would be a little funny. Okay. And I think 
I think all of these are lined up perfectly. I think we're good. I'm gonna cry when I have to go around and start counting everything to make sure it's actually all matched up. Then we just need to remember one, two, five, two, one. So what if we just got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I think. Okay, so if we go one, two, that is not enough at all. So from the one, two, one, one, two. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so one more. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, two, one. I, th I think we're good. I think we're basically done with building the uh, the entire building. I hope you guys enjoyed this mega build. Not gonna continue it anymore. <laughs> I just imagine if I was crazy enough to be like, okay, now I'm gonna go through and fill in everything. There's gonna be no air blocks. And you're all cleaned up. Wow, amazing progress. And everything is going perfectly. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh man, I was gonna push all my items everywhere. Actually, wait, no, no, don't, don't, don't. I need everything, like very desperately. Wait, we might not actually have to remove any of the trees. Sick. Okay, with some of the more, like difficult parts done. Oh my God, that's actually gonna be such a massive circle. Oh Jesus. Oh boy, yeah. Uh, Before I do that, I I'm gonna go take a break. I think it's been like close to three hours, something like that. Yeah, I know, it's, it's definitely break time. But amazing progress. This has actually been very smooth and not difficult. So I am, I'm so thrilled. This, this is why I just want to keep on making it huge. Oh my gosh, I can't wait until I have the skeleton done of this. Oh, dude, I want to see this building so bad. Oh boy, okay, so let's start by playing the super fun counting game. Okay, so all of the, actually no, I think all of these are 301.5. Yeah, okay, so we just need them all to be 30. point. 301.5 and then okay we just need to uh, keep track of the x axis how do we get on there <laughs> my spider web highway i meant to do that god i'm so cool <laughs> Okay, sweet. 301.5. Okay, so this is when it gets a little tricky. So 186. 186. It's all that I need to remember. And who wants to bet that I will absolutely be uh, miscalculating the number difference? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be, like, one or two off. And 301.5. Okay, sick. Okay, so. Oh, my God. There is no way that this is almost 100 blocks. No. Please, for the love of God, no. Is 168 to 73, so that's a five block. To, this is 95 blocks. Are you kidding? This is, I mean, well, I guess that makes sense. Like, it's bigger than the inner circle. Oh, no. Yeah. I, okay, so I think it's 95 blocks. Let me double check that. I want to make sure that I'm not being stupid right now. You got 168 minus 73. Yeah, it's 95. Okay, sick. I am smart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So. This is when it's gonna get a little tricky. Um, on how to do this. I think I just take half the circle and then I just start it here. So we're, we're gonna be going forward a little bit. We, we need to go forward. Oh my God, that is so tiny. Oh God, it's so tiny and I can't make it bigger. Well, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, oh my God, I'm doing this like inverted. Okay, this should, this is stupid. Why, okay, wait, why am I starting on that side? Wait a second. Okay, that's not good. One, two, three, four, five. There's six blocks, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Dear Lord, I'm a mess. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there, then we need to go five. One, two, three, four, five. After five, we need to go three. Five, three, four. Okay, so then after the four, then we go one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Okay, so then we need three twos. Then after the three twos, yeah, because that's three. And then one, two, three. And then we go three. And then three more twos. One, two, three. And then from here, we go over two. And then we go up two. And then from this two, then I go one, two, and then a three. Okay, and then we go three, two, three. So three, two, three. And we go four, three, and then I think that's five. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. Okay, so this is when it gets a little tricky because I don't know if this center part is actually gonna work. 
Uh, oh my god, that is- oh, dude, that's actually such a track. Um, uh, okay, yeah, so let's just drop down. That was so good. I'm- I'm so good at water bucketing. CIA should get into contact with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm worried- oh. Oh, wait, no, no, okay, so it's that line over there. I'm a little worried about it, but I think- I, th I think my guess was right. I, I think I think it'll be okay. Oh, I'm not feeling confident about this. Like, there's no way I did it wrong. If it's 95 blocks apart, then you need a 95... I'm not even going to say the next word because I, it's going to probably make me sound stupid. Don't you need a 95 diameter? Like, for a circle, for it to work? Like, why does that seem so close to me? Nah, we should be fine. I think Darman's worrying about nothing. Okay, so... 3, 6, 3, 6. 6, 6, 5... 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then from there, then we go this way. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we go 5. And then we go 3... And then we go four, and we go three. three. And then we go one, two, and then three twos again. Wait, am I just confused? Wait, oh God, no, panicking. Okay, wait, wait, because four, three, and then we go five. Okay, and then th and then six. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then the last line, the one that I'm a little worried about. So we go six, one, six. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, cool. Yep. Works perfectly fine. So, I don't know how, but I am one block off. Even though these are identical. I am... Mm, five, six, three, four. Or maybe the website gave me a 96 uh, diameter. Or maybe maybe I needed 96, but then it gave me 95. One, one, one or the other. But whatever, it, it doesn't matter, okay? Uh, what matters is that this is perfect. All right? So um, no, that, that's all that matters. Just, uh, you know, ignore the other stuff. Yeah, I, I think this is completely fine. I mean, the most important thing is that this is far enough away from there so I can actually build something and do stuff. So I think we're golden. Yeah, no, th this is totally fine. Okay, so now that I showed you guys that, uh, guess who gets to go and have fun and do that two more times, which I'm just gonna do that off camera because like, you know, you guys have already seen it. There's really no point in me uh, like showing you guys the same exact thing two more times. That is also a little ominous. Oh, but everything is actually almost done. Oh, we're almost done with the thinking part. And then, oh man, I, I can't wait to get to the placing part. I say that now until I actually start all the placing stuff and then it's become, it'll become like very annoying. I'm waiting to see how far are we gonna get to when I run out of material. Is that another village? That's another village, I think. So I have two desert villages right here, which I won't lie, I would take the villagers from these villages, but I don't like how they have a different outfit than the ones that I have back in my house. Also, hello, destroyed nether portal. And is that Badlands? I think that's what they're called. I think that's the biome is Badlands, or that is a uh, mushroom biome. And what is that? That is huge. Huh. I'm just trying not to explore my land, even though I'm pretty sure... Because of the distance mod, I think all of this is already loaded in. So if I were to update and like new structures or something were, uh, you know, come in for this version, I don't think we would be getting any of it around us, which really sucks because that's about 500 chunks out. <laughs> that is really, really, really far away. But yeah, uh, just give me like an hour. I'm going to go through and place down uh, the remainder of the circles. Woo! Whew. Okay, luckily that only took me like three days. Uh, it wasn't even that long. Uh, I gave myself a heart attack. If you look at the very tippity top one over there, right next to the desert. Uh, yeah, I thought I like messed up the lines and made it like 12 blocks too short. And then I kind of like realized everything was fine and perfect because I don't make mistakes. So I think... I think, I think I like all of this. I, I don't think I really hate anything. If anything, later on, I might extend like that little itty bitty, like a uh, little corner piece uh, for the upper courtyard. I don't know if Dharma knows where it is. I might make that a little bit bigger 
but I think I like all of this. Plus, an, uh, it, it's starting to look like a church to me. When you look at the size of everything, it's literally a giant cross. Or I guess if you look at it from this way, it could also be a satanic church. So, hey, well, whichever one. If you like the villagers, it's a church. If you hate them, then it's a satanic church. <laughs> We're sacrificing them. But anyway, so uh, the other three points look exactly like this one, obviously. And I think our best bet, I kind of just want to curve all of the edges. And then that should be everything for circles. I, I should finally be done with counting things and following this website. But I think if I just curve off all of the edges and then we'll just have like a staircase going down, I'll figure out something with the walls. Like maybe this building is just going to be super curvy, which might be a really good thing. So it looks even cooler. But then that should be everything for the skeleton. Like I, I think after that, it's pretty straightforward, at least for quite some time. Like this is basically just all of the grounds. So the part... God, I feel like I should focus on the uh, the upper courtyard walls first. I feel like that's the most important one. And oh yeah, then we need to do lighting. Like I'm trying to think of what's a good stopping point for this episode, but I feel like I shouldn't look at these episodes like that. I feel like I should just go like based off of the timer and see how much we get done. But yeah, uh, let's just go get the, uh, the lovely circle part done with because that's gonna be so much work. <laughs> And then we'll finally be done with that. I'm, I'm so excited to not have to look at a website anymore and, uh, you know, calculate things. So for us to do this, we're just going to do the exact same thing for the lower walls. I need to find the distance between both of these, which... Okay, so you're 144. Nice, you don't look a day over 140. There's a 144, this one is 97. That's like off top of my head, is that 47? Let's do calculator. So 144 minus 97, yeah, 47. God, I'm so smart, I even impressed myself. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure 47. So then, going back to the website. Okay, 47, oh my gosh, that is so much easier. Such a tinier circle. After doing 95, I feel like I can do anything at this point. Oh God, oh, either four or five. Ah, we'll do four just so the grounds below is even bigger. So do four, five, three, three. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, five. And then we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so yeah, four, five, three, three. And then we go two, and then three. Two, 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 two. two. And then this two, we go over two. And then we go two, three, and three. I guess three, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we go four. Now, I would just continue building the circle this way, but I also like going to the other side and then just starting the circle from over there just so I can actually... I, I think it's like a better check system. Because then if I do them both the exact same way and then I'm off somehow, then at least I know something's wrong. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm weird like that, even though it's literally the exact same outcome if I were to just continue that way. But I think it's also just because of the width. I'm worried that, like, I don't know, I, I made it too fat or too skinny. So then by doing it this way, I could just extend the last line really long. Okay, so then we need to do four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, three, 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 two, three, three, and then one, two, three. So one, two, three. So one, two, three. So then based off of that one, then we go over two, and then we do two. And then we do one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we do five. And then after that five, we do four. One, two, three, four. And then I don't know why, but it's always two instead of one. I don't know why I'm always one block wider than the website, but whatever. Okay, so cool. Finish that one. I think I love this idea. I think this is going to look so much nicer than just like cutting it off and making it flat. I feel like at this point, it's too late for me to do anything flat because there's so many curves with this build that any flat point is going to stand out too much and it'll just look very out of place. Not to mention, it'll look incredibly lazy. So then we just need to go and do that two more times. Oh, then it was funny. So the newest episode or the newest video on the main channel, 
been, I think it was all the mods eight. I like how there was a comment of someone saying like, oh, Skies never looks at tutorials. And then I, I like how I, like, I posted it to the community tab and then uh, someone replied like, oh, he only knows how to read Berserk. So I find it really funny. Like I, I mentioned Berserk so much in here that you guys are like uh, remembering that about me. By the way, it's you know, it's not that true. Okay, I read other mangas. Well, I'm not that much of a dweeb. Okay, so three, three, two, three. And let me go one, two, three. After that third one, you go over two. And then we go two. Let me go three, three, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then we go one, two, three, four. Perfect. And then I go and I run a marathon, but I also really, really love it that you guys are learning that I don't look at tutorials and I don't really read. I'll usually read stuff in games if I deem that it's important enough. <laughs> and most of the time that's not, <laughs> most of the time it's not important at all. So I just, uh, I find it so funny. <laughs> okay, then, okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. And one, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Four and one, two, cool. I'm slowly memorizing exactly how to make a circle to where I'm not really looking at the website. Probably not a good thing. Will I make a mistake? No, that was a trick question. I never make mistakes, only happy accidents. And finally, the last one. Oh my God, dude, you have no idea how excited I am to just not look at a website and count. Uh, I can't wait to just place blocks. I'm gonna regret saying that. I'm curious at the end of this, is there like, I know about the statistics page and like I can see like how many uh, blocks that I've mined, but can I see how many blocks that I've placed? Because I'm really curious about how much dirt and, uh, grass and stone bricks that I've, uh, used for this. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, three, four, and one, two, sick. Okay, cool. Did everything correct. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I don't think that there's anything else left to do. I kind of want to remove all of these dirt, uh, like roadways that I've made, but I feel like I should probably leave them up. Maybe once I finish the upper courtyard, then I'll go through and I'll remove all of these. So then they're just easier to collect. I, I feel like that's the smarter, lazier way to do it. Okay, so what to do, what to do. I kind of want to curve this out a little bit because yeah, this, oh, maybe it's good that this stands out so much and so drastically so that then we can tell the front compared to like, yeah, those are all sides because I, I still might no, I don't think I'm going to make a staircase from those upper courtyards uh, going down to the ground. I think it's going to look too weird. And then it kind of defeats the purpose of all of this, especially the lower courtyard. Like, I, I don't think I should do that. I think that's a bad idea. So I think I like all of this. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I put this right here. I got to be honest. Um, okay, I think I can remove that. Because I think, especially for my sanity, I think I'm going to make these straight down. Just like how I've made uh, the upper and lower courtyard walls going down to the ground. I think we're just going to continue the super flat drop. So, yeah, because you're just a block away from that. So let's just extend you. I'll make sure. Wait, is that? Yeah. Okay. So I think that's right there in the corner. And... Yeah, I think that's basically it. I think it's that simple, you know, now it's just a whole lot of clicking. Um, I can now turn my brain off. I can yap to you guys, so you guys are in danger of hearing me talk about nonsense for hours. Especially Darman, have fun editing. <laughs> I do find it funny though how every single YouTuber just has their videos be like super short, concise, edited, no yapping or personality really. And then they all start podcasts where they put their personality and they just yap about anything. And then there's just me 
for my videos is just me yapping and then just talking about whatever for hours. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot about you. Oh, and I kind of forgot about that rule. Um, I don't think we need to continue the stone slab rule for this though. Well, I'll, I think I'll definitely do something like maybe like another layer of dirt or something just to make like a little bit of a curve. So it might look nice, but I do. Oh God. I okay. Well, we have some, but yeah, I completely forgot about all this stuff, which this might turn out a little interesting, but yeah, I just want to say like, I find it like a little interesting and just funny how like drastically different my content is from others. Especially, uh, especially just being able to uh, yap in my videos and not needing a podcast. Uh, friends and I have always been interested in those, but like, eh. Okay, so three to three. So all of that's good. That was nice and simple. The fun part is going to be the circles. That's going to be the enjoyable time. Especially since I need to mirror it to all three sides. And I'm a little worried. Because I have a feeling that some of the corners on there, it's going to be like, oh, this is way too short. I should extend this. So then just like trying to find all of those very unique spots that I do that to, to um, like all of the other spots just so it's all the same. It's, it's gonna be a really fun, interesting time. Like right here, this is bad. This is really bad. One, two, one, two. Like maybe that, maybe that's fine. I mean, that kind of looks right. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I got this. I got this. Boom. Okay, then it goes back into that. One, two, one, two. And then here it goes into one, two. Okay, so boom, boom. I think like that. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I could have been like everyone else. Just give them a dirt hut or like a little wooden thing. But no, I had to recreate the capital of a country. Oh, and I'm out. Okay, well, that's fun. Well, before we head back home, we might as well use up all of our dirt. I feel like I should probably ask, oh, not ask, um, answer this because I feel like quite a bit of you are going to. So the reason why I don't just leave areas underneath my mega builds like this, just dark, like why I go through and light it up is also for lag reasons, because if I make it to where there's an optimal spot for baddies to spawn in, and then it's like hundreds of blocks, if not thousands of blocks that they can do it in. It, it just so many more entities, a lot more lag. So not a good time. It, it's pretty tedious to go through and light up everything, but at least for performance, it's definitely worth it. Especially since, you know, this is uh, it's going to be a big boy. Please land this. Okay. Ooh, uh, maybe if I can find some XP and I can actually get a name tag. I kind of want to name tag him uh, Cloud. Oh, this is going to look so cool when it's done. I just can't help but laugh because I was so worried when building that. Oh, it's going to be too tiny. It's not going to be mega. It wanted to be a mega build. Ooh. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, it's so massive. I didn't count the stairs. Oh, man. I wanted to count them so I can make the exact amount that I need. Don't I have stone brick stairs? I swear to God I have some and it's hiding. It's hiding from me. It's hiding in my walls. It's scurrying around in my walls and it's whispering whispering to me oh hey look i have some stone bricks huh didn't even know that um yeah we should probably remove the empty ones just so i stop opening them and then we'll just place them back down once i go mining and there we go okay at least it's a lot simpler okay so that should be enough i kind of mm. no let, let's just let's max out on uh, all of our stone because we should go and finish all of the border stuff around it before we focus on all of the um the grass and i mean we could load up cloud like i could always just put um some dirt into his chest okay and then i'm gonna take a wild guess so you into stone brick stairs and you just because you're random amount okay yeah so we'll just do that um i'll just do this a really stupid way i'll just drop all of this on the ground hopefully lightning doesn't strike in that specific spot and screw me over okay so a way to do this because I need to be careful so I need to hold that lead so then what we do is we just put the sword in the offhand then I hold you and then boom there we go we're completely maxed out cloud is not like I know I was gonna name tag him but I don't feel like getting XP and don't worry cloud you're the strongest meal in the world you're carrying maybe around like 15 metric tons okay I got a feeling I didn't bring enough so if I can at least finish this get the little details out of the way yeah I think this is nice so once you run up you have like the okay because you gotta you gotta remember like you know have like farms like cool looking things some trees bushes everywhere you're running up this 
another staircase just to be like, oh my gosh, this place is so important and uh, official. Wow, this is amazing. And then boom, you run up there. So that out looks good. Building this place makes me feel like a zombie. There's so much to do. Oh, maybe that's why this area looks a little bit weird because I didn't have it, um, you know, like all the circle, how there's, you know, it's thicker. It's not just like, oh, block, block, block. It's block, 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 block. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's why that was so weird for me to do. So maybe that's the trick. I, I need to like make them thicker before I add the two. Oh boy. Okay. This is when it gets fun. This is when it gets serious. This is no game. Wait, but then why is that one so much bigger? Wait, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's why it goes like that. It's about... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. I confuse myself. Okay, then the switch up. So now we go this way. Oh man, I just realized the grass over here is gonna be like a warmer shade than that. Ah, that's annoying. Like I, I enjoy the different biomes and stuff, but I wish that Minecraft was a little bit more vibrant because it's just so depressing. Like just seeing this, you know? But, uh, okay, okay. So, uh, before we start this one, um, okay, this is gonna get a little messy. So maybe I just go and I thicken the entire thing, and then that'll make it a bit easier to place everything. So that should be fine. Since so starting at this one, because technically there, so that went out two. So let me go two, but then I need to go this way. So let me go out two, and then we add the one. So then now we go out two and then we swap back here. So boom, 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 boom. And I feel like I just messed it up somehow. Wait, 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 no, because, okay. So one, two is boom, 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 boom. I think two? Wait, cause yeah, then the one right there. Yeah, okay, wait, yeah, that, 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 that should be fine. Okay, I don't think I messed up anything. The only thing is, is now this is different from that over there. I already know that for a fact. So it should go one, two, three, two. One, two, three, four, two, one, two, three. Wait, wait, one more time. Okay, so we got one, two, three, two. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three. So three, two, four, two, three. Three, two, four, two, three. Three, two, four, two, three. Yeah, so yeah, this is way off. Oh boy. Oh brother, this guy stinks. Because it was three, two, four. Four, two, three. So I I literally think we just go through and add one. Like if I just go through and just boom, boom. We could, mm, no, I don't have any dirt. I, mm, dude, I, I think it's like that. I really think I just add one to everything. We should be good. Yeah, let's try it. No, because that's still off somehow. I mean, I could remove everything. Here, let's try to visualize it if I were to remove everything. Okay, so boom, boom. So two, boom, boom. Two. I think I remove you. So I think I remove that one. Maybe I remove that one too. And I think that fixes it. I think it was just boom, boom. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three. That looks correct. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, four. Why is there no two right there? Oh, because it goes this way. I think that's the two. One, two, three. I think that I, I think this is correct. I think this is fine. I don't think Darman messed it up too much. I think I fixed it. Also, wait, no, I don't want to lose these blocks. Yeah, I think that I think it's right. I I, I think I think it's saved. I think it's all right. Yeah, because one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the same. Woo! Okay. Very luckily, that's all fixed. I just need to remember that for the other two sides, which I don't know why I had it like that in the first place. Like I don't know why. I went from like thin straight to thick right over there. That was a little bit of a silly move. It's still a little funny to me just to be like building over trees. My word, man. Who would have guessed this place takes up a lot of resources? Like I I'm almost out of stone bricks and we've only been doing this little, little border increase. A little bit insane. I wish someone would have warned me. Bing, 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 bing. Oh my God. Okay, phew. Oh, thank God I snapped out of it. Okay, I was in robot mode. I, I, cause I was thinking, I'm like, why does this look weird? How do, how am I supposed to do this? Oh my God. Okay. Whew. It's about to have another crisis. Okay. So one, two, one, two, and trying to remember when do I swap over? It's one, two, 
And then we go back and we put the one there. How is this? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Why is this off already? Why is it one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, two, three? Huh? Wait, how the hell did I mess it up? The what? Okay, I... Th hmm, okay, wait, wait, wait. Because there's something here. But I swear to God, I added everything. Okay, so good. One, two, three, four. You're supposed to be two. So I think we go boom, boom. I think I was missing those two somehow. Is one, two, three, two. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three. Yeah, that's right. How do, oh my God, I, I even extended it. I made it thicker. I made it thicker than a bowl of oatmeal and apparently I still mess it up somehow. Minecraft is a fun chilling game. It's relaxing. Ooh, okay. Well, at least doing this part of the circle is uh, actually calming and easy. See, I, I know I don't want to, but at least, like I think at least doing this desert and then maybe doing like a little bit of that desert. Like I really think I want to cover it in dirt. I just, I don't know. By the time that I get to that, like, you know, this video will definitely be up. So I'll just wait for your guys' feedback, but I don't know if I should actually go through and terraform a desert. I just feel like it would make the surrounding areas of this look a lot nicer. Like it would give, you know, this place a way better view. And then it'd raise up the property value. <laughs> yeah. Boing, 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 boing. Wait, boing, oh. Aw. Wow. So, almost an entire inventory of stone bricks didn't even finish this. We got, like, what, 80% done? So, that's a little insane, but, okay, we just need to go get the dirt from Cloud, see how much of that we can actually do. Like, it's really setting in to me just how much, uh, like, work all this is gonna be. Did I do that side correct over here? I think... Okay, I need you guys to remind me, uh, okay? So, I think I need to actually add one more block to this. Yeah, I know this is way too skinny and that's because I didn't make this thick for whatever stupid reason. I made it thin and that's only one block. So yeah, no, no, we, we actually have to, uh, we, we need to extend that. All right, let's go do some damage. Uh, I mean, so I, I know this is me being like unbearably optimistic right now, but I kind of hope that I can complete the upper courtyard's ground this episode. But I think I'm being incredibly optimistic because I'm not realizing how big this area is. Okay, so then we got stone going there. Yeah, okay, so as long as I just keep it like this, nice little one block difference. Should be fine. There you go. See, I'm a good builder. I can, I, oh my god, almost fell. I can understand stuff. Nope. Okay, I already messed it up. Please don't fall down. Please don't fall down. Please. Oh, thank god. I need all my blocks. I can't let anything fall. Okay, then. I think this block. I think? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I uh, can't think of anything to talk about. Fuck it. I'll just uh, continue recording once I'm done. Why, hello there. So, uh, it barely added anything. <laughs> um, I just went through and kind of did like a little bit of an outline just so I can like blindly just go through and start adding in blocks. Um, it wasn't even that much whatsoever. I mean, I barely brought any, but yeah, it's really, uh, really not that much. I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to understand how massive this build is. I almost want to say that I have enough resources to finish the upper courtyard and then maybe 25% of the wall. I, I think, I think, I think I actually do. Mm, boing. Okay, well, I thought I would make it into the water, but okay. And, uh, yay, we're finally done with chicken. We're making progress on the other food. Ooh, but I am hungry. Okay, so nothing else there. Boom, there we go. However, I can't lie, you can probably tell. I'm starting to get tired. I think I'm just gonna go and like restock on some uh, blocks to build on. I'm just gonna go read Berserk and fall asleep. I'm becoming an EP boy. <laughs> okay, you go into there and... Yeah, let's just start on Kakad, why not? And start knocking that out. Um... Okay, so let's take a wild guess. Where Where's my stone? Okay, there you go. Is that all mine? No, okay, this is all mine. Let's take a wild guess, because I don't want to bring too much stone so that then I can bring a lot of grass. Now, we were pretty close to being finished. I honestly want to say that this might be enough, but we'll, we'll, we'll play it a little bit safer. We'll bring that much, but I think this... I think this is actually all that we need. It's like, we didn't have that much left, but it is double. Like, I... Even then, I, I think, 
You know, I'm gonna call it right now. I think that this is gonna be too many. So, you know, we should be fine with that. And then, yeah, let's start bringing all of this. Need to knock all of this out. And then let's load up Cloud. Bring a metric ton of this stuff. And then maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll actually have enough time to finish the upper courtyard ground this episode. Maybe, hopefully. I'm gonna be strong though. We'll all at least finish all of the stone bricks and then uh, end today. We're making such amazing progress. I I'm actually happy that I was able to go through and like finish all this stuff. Oh, blah, 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 blah. okay, I just remembered over here. Uh, oh my God, I, oh. Ah, I forgot it with the dirt. Okay, because, yeah, if we go through and imagine it like this, so boom, 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 boom. So, starting here, yeah, just every single one of these needs to go one more. So now imagining it, boom, boom, because that's two, boom, 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 two, two, two. Okay, yes. So then, as there's already mobs spawning down below me, we just remove all of these. Then let me put water here. I, oh my god, I don't have enough space. Uh, okay, we'll just take that. Things are getting awkward. There we go. Go back up. Okay, so that side done. Let's go do it to the other side over here. I'm actually so happy that I remember that. I completely forgot, especially when placing down all the dirt. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Yeah, okay, so that's all good. I think I need to add it to this spot over here as well. I think this is all good. Okay, phew. Okay, see? I think I already found the issue with it, but here, let's just continue it this way. Yeah, because then it was like boom, boom. Yes, yeah, okay, so I think that's where I went wrong last time, was that I didn't add the boom, boom. So... I think it was like boom, boom. That, that's all I had to do because one, two, three, two. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, I think that's all correct. And okay. There we go. And then hopefully I brought enough blocks. Now I'm starting to have second guesses and I feel like I brought too little. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, at least the border is now done. Uh... God, okay, I brought way too much. Uh, I mean, what we could do is just start on the wall over here. I just don't want to have anything in my inventory. And yeah, I don't think I need to do anything special. I'm pretty sure my plan when I was like first starting this was just make the skeleton and then I would go back and, you know, do little details, change out blocks if need be. So yeah, I probably shouldn't care about any of this. Oh yeah, phew. Thank God, that's good. And yeah, this is... This is kind of fun. I don't know why, but I really want to say that this gives me like 2012 Minecraft building vibes. Like, I don't know why. I think it's just because now I'm starting to get an illusion to where this is like the normal flat ground and then just seeing like such sharp uh, shapes right there. Don't know why, but it heavily uh, getting vibes like that from all this. But anyways, now we get the super fun time of going through and putting down dirt, which, you yeah, know. Um, I'm making an illusion to make you think that I'm doing it right now, and then the next clip that you see, all of the dirt's already gonna be down, but in reality, I'm gonna stop recording, like, right after I finish this statement, and then I'm gonna go read Berserk and fall asleep. But I'm just trying to, like, like do, like, this cool illusion, you know, like, it's gonna be so Hollywood. Oh, good morning! Okay, so I got some water, some coffee, and a brisk iced tea. That's how you know I'm about to go super mood. <laughs> Now, given how this is, like, I, I need to think of a way because, both like, the, the series on this channel and the main channel, it's just going to be a lot of building like this. So I really need to figure out, like, what can I do during this other than watching a movie, you know? Like, j just so you guys can actually see the process of all of it without it being boring. Um, I think I'm going to wait until 1.21 to get the replay mod. So then you guys can actually just watch me build in a, in a time-lapse form so everything is a lot faster. So, gotta wait for that now. Like, the only reason why I don't do that mod right now is because it's not for Forge, it's only for uh, Fabric, and I don't want to get rid of any of my mods. Like, I'm pretty sure the Carry-On mod is only Forge, sadly. Which, like, I, I really need that mod, or else I'm just gonna be really sad if I don't have it. But, um, anyways, yeah, like, I, I need to think of just some, like, something that I can do during all of this. Like, either something to talk about, or, uh, I don't know, life advice, I'm not giving that. 
But anyways, I just wanted to, you know, uh, talk to my diary about that. Like, you know, I need, I need to think of something for this and the main channel. But yeah, I think I'm going to go and watch another movie and then just see how much progress I can get done on all of this stuff. Especially since we're making pretty good progress on using up every single block that I have in my, uh, in the double chest over there from, you know, the hole. This is so weird to me to like actually be able to see all of this stuff. Ooh, I guess a little topic I can talk about right now before I go and watch a movie is, uh, I don't know how many of you are reading the Jujutsu Kaisen manga, but oh dear God, I can't be the only one that is getting so sick and tired of it because it's just so repetitive and the exact same thing. To where, oh, new characters introduced, they're being painted as a god, they're the strongest things ever. Two chapters later, Sukuna kills him. Repeat, non-stop. It's been like that for like the last eight characters. Yeah, grinds my gears and it makes me appreciate Berserk so much more. <laughs> there you go, I just wanted to say that one little thing. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in like two-ish hours or something. I need to find a movie other than Marvel or a superhero movie. I don't know why... That's the only genre being uh, advertised to me uh, under the streaming services. Like, I'm only looking on HBO Max right now. I should probably look on the other ones as well. Maybe that's why I'm not, like, seeing anything new. But see you guys in a few hours. It's been fun. So what's up? It's been a little bit and I got a decent amount of the work done on this project. So I didn't do any of the walls down below near the ground, but I have been focusing on the stone brick, like a uh, outer pathway. I did the stone slabs all the way around. So that's entirely done because I was a little bit important. I did a little bit of the, I guess the foundation walls, like the building walls of what they're going to be sitting on. And I've been trying to do all of the dirt and that's the part that's been taking the most time. So it's been roughly three and a half hours. And then give or take, I would say we're like maybe 50% done with the flooring up here, which... I'm starting to realize like it's really hitting me how big this place is but call me crazy it really doesn't feel that big that's what she said so because you know like three and a half hours and i'm like almost done placing on the flooring stuff like don't get me wrong i you know if you join a minecraft server i would expect to see a building of this size be like the hub area but i don't know like i just I, i'm a little disappointed with how fast like okay no it, with how weird this statement is, like, I, I just feel a little disappointed with how fast I'm able to do all of this stuff. Because, I don't know, I just, I feel like mega builds, they should be taking, like, I feel like it should have taken me days to, like, get this far. It probably helped that I had the material, and maybe that's why I was, you know, able to go through all of this so fast. Which, you know... I, I don't even know what episode this is. This might be seven. If this is episode seven, then episode eight, I think I need to go back to uh, our little non-hole hole up there and i need to do some more mining because yeah i'm i'm almost out uh believe it or not just doing the flooring for the upper courtyard like nothing else not the lower part which that one's gonna probably take like just guessing off the top of my head that's probably gonna take over fifty thousand blocks possibly even more i'm i'm taking a wild estimate here i'm not even trying to calculate anything but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be around like fifty thousand maybe a hundred thousand blocks just for the the you know lower or uh i don't know what to call it the upper courtyard walls to the ground the foundation walls whatever you want to call them i don't know um but yeah like i don't know it's just i feel like the next build i need to go bigger or something but i, I don't know I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed how fast it you know I, I can go through all of this it, it just makes the building feel really tiny to me but again i haven't even done the walls so maybe future me is going to call me an idiot right now uh, also, I haven't gone through and lit up the area down below, which, hey, would you look at that? My mob spawner is working. I think I'm gonna be a little silly goose and just wait until I finish, you know, like, putting down those walls and, or maybe once I'm done, like, filling in all of the grass and everything, then I'll, I'll probably go and light it all up. I don't know. I'm just kind of leaving it because it's whatever. For right now, you know, like obviously once this entire place is filled in, you know, I have to light it up down there. And then for anyone wondering uh, what I watched, so I wasn't really finding any good movies. So instead, I decided to watch the first four episodes of the uh, the Halo TV show on Paramount Plus uh, season two. Yeah, um, little backstory for anyone who doesn't know. Huge fan of Halo. I've read maybe a dozen of the Halo books. I don't know which one I stopped at, but I've read a very decent amount of them. 
love the game's been um that's actually i think the first video game i ever played was halo 1 back when i was six years old so huge fan of it um i think the easiest way to explain the show is the show is actually like pretty damn good like it's actually really good as long as you don't think of the halo tv show as halo as long as you think of it as a generic sci-fi mass effect you know if you know that game series as long as you think of it as that then yeah it's really really good um if you think of it as halo then it's absolute dog shit, if i'm being honest uh, i don't i still don't get like i understand why the actor constantly takes off master chief's helmet but i just don't get it you can tell that he desperately wants to be uh god what was his name henry cavill i think was his name the guy who played superman the witcher and i think another role that i'm not remembering i think he wants to be him desperately and he wants us to know his face so he's just constantly just removing the helmet so we can see his stupid face and I think it's having the opposite effect because I'm pretty positive he actually has a lot of beef with people on Twitter over the Halo TV show, and it's rightfully deserved. The like, if it if it is his idea to constantly remove the helmet, he deserves all the hate. I'm I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, oh, now I'm out of dirt, so this will be my last batch. And then yeah, we just have this stone which I'm gonna use for the. Uh, the building walls, all that stuff's useless to me. I don't know why I'm keeping it, but maybe I'll find a, a purpose for it uh, soon. But um, yeah, so I just, I, I don't understand why he's constantly taking off his helmet and like half the show, maybe 40% of the show, he's not wearing armor, which that doesn't make sense whatsoever. Like, let's just ignore the books about Halo. If you're just going based off of the game itself, you can tell that he feels awkward not having the armor or helmet on at all. Like, he feels very uncomfortable. He was out of place. So I don't understand that. I still don't understand why there's a girl who's, like, the leader of the Covenant. That doesn't make sense whatsoever. That, that I, I can make a lot of statements that probably get me demonetized about, like, what that's, you know, similar to in real life. But, you know, I, I think you can catch my drift. Like, it's like a chum bucket controlling sharks like it doesn't make sense for her to be there i also don't understand which part of halo that they're trying to make the show about because it's like they're trying to combine the the beginning of halo halo reach and halo 4 all together but not even in chronological order they're like going out of order so I, I just, I'm very confused about the pacing and everything in there. I also don't understand why they're making Chief like a psychopath in it, in a way. Like he's just very AWOL and all over the place. And he's against like leadership, which is just like, it, it's just all wrong. And I also don't understand, like this is going to be a spoiler, but I'm going to try my best to not make it look like a spoiler. But I don't understand why they did with, I think his name is Vanak or Vavinek, like, whatever his name was, the Black Spartan on Silver Team. I don't understand, like, the end part with him, uh, with, you know, what they did with his character, because that was, like, a very stupid move, and usually they do things very calculated and a lot smarter because of their augmentation, so that part just didn't make sense to me. Uh, yeah, so it's just, when you think of it as Halo, none of it makes sense. I'm just yapping because, you know, it's been a few hours, and... Like, I really need to destroy my vocal cords with running my mouth. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk about all that stuff. But, you know, as long as you don't think of the Halo TV show as Halo, then, yeah, I give it, you know, like a like a pretty decent 8. I would say like, an, like, a, like a pretty cool 8. Um, if you think of it as Halo, then I give it like a 2. So, yeah, that's where I'm sitting. Also, I just realized that the, uh, the volume is low. Uh, so oopsies, unless Garmin turns up the game on you. But yeah, I was just doing that so I can actually hear, uh, the, the show instead of hearing this non-stop. But, I don't know, I just, I wasn't finding any good movies. I remember that season two was coming out, but I just wasn't looking forward to it whatsoever. I'm pretty sure Moist Critical has also been on the show, and it's honestly deserved. So, yeah, I just wanted, to, uh, you know, to get my thoughts on that out there. Uh... I'm a little tempted to go watch episode 5 and then just continue placing down stuff on here because, like, there's not really much else to talk about. 
I have a strong feeling that this episode is super duper long, so, you know, we're definitely nearing the end of it, and I think the end of this episode is just gonna be me using up all of the materials. Which, wow, shocker, almost there. <laughs> but I'm pretty happy with this build, um, especially when you start to think about it, how it's all hollow. I don't know why, but I feel like that's a lot more interesting for it. Like, if I were to break this, I'm falling straight down, possibly into a ravine. So, it's just like a little, like, weird thing for me to think about. I don't know why, it's just... It's been on my mind as I've been building this. I don't even know if that's a good or a bad thing. But yeah, if you guys are looking for like a cool war story, that's pretty interesting when, you know, they just, they don't really answer any of the questions about like why things happen or how they happen. But yeah, yeah I, I recommend the TV show, uh, the, the Halo TV show. Just don't go into it expecting Halo. <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on the builds coming along perfectly, not having any issues whatsoever. It's been pretty peaceful and like, I guess like meditative, me med like a good meditating time. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think of a term for it, but yeah, it's like one of those. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go watch episode five, possibly episode six as well. I kind of just want to go until I use up all of the resources, which we are almost there. Sup? Okay, so we used, like, it's it's so sad. So I used up all of the stone. We made it all the way over there. So we're like nearly done with the upper wall. And oh my God, uh, there's, this is gonna require so many materials. <laughs> there are so many materials. So yeah, next episode, I definitely need to spend the first day just like mining away at the mountain. Uh, pretty soon we'll get Darman in here. I'm also just very lazy to figure out how to turn this into a server. One of you told me if I just open it to LAN, and then I think if I use something like Hamachi or something, then I can have Darman uh, connect to my IP, and then like he can join this world, something like that. Don't really know, but yeah, I'm just really lazy to figure it out, so that's why like I haven't brought him in. Boy, let me show you the build and everything that we could accomplish with, you know, just tearing down that much of a hill. So it, it might be a little bit hard, you know, to tell like where's the uh, like the the grass on the ground and then the grass for this build, but I think I like this. Like it just it looks so smooth and clean. I'm still a little tempted to go to like the corners right here on the build and then just extend them outwards. Like I don't know if I should leave it so much like a T or an X, depending on how you want to look at it. Or if I should make it look a little bit more circular, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll wait until, like, you know, this goes live and then you guys can actually tell me that. I mean, like, I'm not going to be touching the lower walls for quite some time, so this won't really be that difficult of a fix. But I, I'm just, I'm a little curious just to see everyone's uh, opinion about it, but, like, maybe I should leave it like this because it's a pretty unique shape. Plus, when you're at least in this kind of a position, like, if you're just a bird and you're looking at it from this angle, again, if you, if you just rotate your screen 180 degrees, then, you know, it's an upside down cross, but this is a cross. So I guess for the lore, especially for medieval times, you always have the religious group and seeing how villagers walk around, Maybe this suits them. Like, I'm just saying, you know, they look like they're pretty religious people or like monks, maybe, you know, just something to where a cross would actually kind of suit them. So maybe I leave this entire area just looking like a giant cross for them, just for like some fun lore. They, they could be the religious group of our world's lore that I don't have yet. And I'm kind of honest, I'm just pulling everything out of out of my butt um so yeah but i don't know it's kind of like a cool thought for it and funny enough i think i'm actually starting to love this build a lot more than the autoinator it just feels like this one has a lot more personality it, it's a lot bigger so it just it's more impressive and i kind of like the lore that like we're slowly creating with this building and i like the thought that's actually going into this where the autoinator i was honestly just like heavily just guessing everything. I was making up everything on the spot for that, which this one I'm a little inspired, maybe a lot inspired by Berserk for this build. So, you know, it just, I, I feel like this is gonna end up a lot better. And I don't know why, but just seeing super flat ground like this with just, you know, grass, wall, nothing different. It gives me very big vibes of like early 2000s video games. Like, if you've ever played the original Call of Duty, like, I feel like I'm sneaking into... I can't say these words without getting demonetized, but that one group, that one German group, you know? So you're playing, like, COD 1, trying to sneak into one of the mansions for that German group. So I, I'm kind of loving it a lot. And it's gonna hurt me to try and, like, 
add texture and like curvature to this like i don't i don't think i'm gonna mess too much with it just because of how much i like how retro this building looks and it's also really wild to think that i we've almost been in this world for 300 days and i'm still immensely surprised that i haven't died yet like again like i really don't care about anything like uh dying wise staying alive survival like i just i don't care for it i'm so much more into just building and executing everything properly. So I'm just, I'm very surprised that I haven't died whatsoever. Same with the uh, the future series on the main channel, which I think I'm on day like 80 for it, which that one doesn't surprise me why I haven't died. Plus I was playing it super safe and just staying in my base, uh, messing with all the villagers. Wait, I'm starting to forget, did I make like all of that circular design this episode? Have we really been doing that much? Oh, huh, yeah, no, I think we have. Have I? No. Maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember where we started at <laughs> with this episode. I don't think I had much of the lines done. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I, I don't know how I forget things like that. Like, I'll, I'll forget, like, pretty obvious things, and I'll remember, like, the most minute things ever. It's very weird. But anywho's, so, yeah, we're definitely stopping at a pretty decent spot because it's about to become stupid grindy. Um, yeah, all we have left is just this one single chest of this stuff, so yeah. Um, also, hi, I don't want you guys here anymore. Actually, you know what? I have a crossbow. I meant crossbow, a bow. There you go, yeah, yeah. Stay back, buddy. Yeah, bucko, I need you guys to stop spawning in so much. I feel like you're messing with my iron golem spawn at the farm that I never camp under, so it's never activated. Can you come over here? You're not hidden. Yeah, hi. How you doing, bud? But yeah, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm pretty sure we started the entire, like, outline like line structure of the builds and um you know we're, we're making like crazy progress on that hopefully by next episode i want to say very hopefully we'll have the entire upper courtyard done but that honestly depends because god i'm almost tempted just to make the next episode strictly about me um just mining because seeing all of those double chests and i used it on like 60 60 or 70 percent of just the upper courtyard's floor like we're gonna be needing a whole lot of materials so maybe next episode we're going to be just mining and then i need to figure out a way to make it interesting without uh you know making the video three minutes long of me just talking about movies and our little bees have been working fantastically almost a stack and a half of honey so that's going to come in huge handy for the uh, the villager build. I can't lie, I'm very tempted just to break this and get rid of all the cake. I, I know I shouldn't waste food, but like, I just, I don't care about this one because it just doesn't do anything for me. And like, oh no, it all disappeared. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, speaking about food, we're almost done with everything. I'm incredibly close to just grabbing these cookies and then running over here to lava. And then just tossing the cookies into the lava. Like, I can't lie. Like, I'm very close to doing that just because that food source is really bad. But at least we're really close to using our uh, golden carrots. I'm looking very, uh, very much so forward to that. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, that's right. I killed a creeper, so I'm now level one. Uh, do I have a name tag? Little, little namey namey? Little, little namey name, name tag? I could have sworn I bought one. Name tag? Okay, nope. Don't have a name tag. Okay, so I bought one of you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to talk about any of this stuff. Uh, watched episode five of, uh, the Halo TV show. That was about an hour long, so, yeah, that's how long it took me to place down the, the remainder of the blocks. Um... Yeah, all my points still stand. I just, I really don't understand that show and the direction of it. None of it makes sense. It's so bizarre and stupid in a Halo sense. Anyways, okay, so Cloud and now you finally have a name. So hello there, Cloud. So I, I think that's a really nice fitting name for him. Nice to meet you. I hope you last a very, very long time, if not forever. I'm going to try my best to take care of you so you never die. And yeah, at some point in the far future, I'll work on uh, unlocking the limit, you know, of uh, breeding him so I can get the fastest one. Which with you being 11, wait, didn't I have faster ones? I could have sworn I had a 14. Oh, guess not. Oh, well, but uh, anyways, I'm dragging this out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I hope you guys are excited to see the direction that I take for the uh, the trading hall and how awesome that's gonna look when it's done. And oh my god, dude, that that is such a big boy. I'm even kind of surprising myself that I'm building this. So 
I guess that's a good sign. But yeah, oh, dude, that looks so insane. Oh, so excited for that one. So uh, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you have a great week. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. And yeah, um, see ya.